Welcome guys to my next tutorial, next video. I received a message from a guy from Cuba. He was uh, he is following me on my YouTube channel and was asking about a video about the workout on a wall back. So we have three chambers here. My wall backs are hanging up more higher than normally because I have that edge here. I have no possibility to hang it lower, but it doesn't matter at all. So you can stay here on the Yiji Kiminma or uh, the, the opening stance or the open stance or the eras or you can do a fighting stance here with one leg in the front so you can do a normal chin punches very important it's not hitting the target in a stiff way you have to work with your wrist it's always the same hitting and raising up hitting raising up okay this these three knuckles here are hitting and it's always the same engine if you hit here with a punch, we have it in the form in the second set of the synonym, for example, or chunk chu form. You strike with your thumbs, you have the yuji here, and do the same here again. So thrust with the thumb and then go up, raise your your um, your chance of this hitting like this. Okay, you can also train this here, for example, but it's always the same in engine. So, one, two, three. And always make sure that you don't hit the surface here. You have to think about the target is more behind the wall. So you would punch through the opponent, okay? You can do it in a straight way. You can do it more crossed. You can do that in all the three chambers and all three levels. You can do it reverse chain punches. You can do double fists. You can do this. Or you can do a great drill. So you do a cross and from below. It's a nice application. So this would be a good, good way of uh, training to, you, you'll see my fist getting ready too, um, to make your fists and your punches more, more harder. It's really cool. So we're coming to the next thing, it would be the kicks. So we have one, one, one leg in the front again. We are doing a bong zhao and a wu zhao. When I do the bong zhao, we all, always do a bong girk, right? So knees on the outside or inside, better like I said, and kicking here. Okay? Make sure that you don't push yourself away. You sink with your center line. And your the Chinese people say with your chi, going more to the ground. And kick through the target. And now I do a wu zhao and the tan zhao. And I do a tan gear here. Okay, now I can switch. always work with your hips so this would be the straight line okay my my hips are straight so tongue work is also here when I do the bong, bong so I turn my hip and I do this and as you see I don't balance with my with my height so I'm staying here and the opponent doesn't notice that I want to kick so it's always the, the, the kicks and the punches are coming from nowhere. So very, very fast, like this, boom, and kick the target. Okay, guys, this would be a great task for you guys to train and to reply everything. If you have any questions, just feel free to message me. If you have any, any uh, ideas for the next video, feel free and just text me. I will enjoy your questions. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.